It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Yeah, um, sorry. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even gonna tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, 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 they hit it off. Aw, that's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? A, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Yeah, no, it's a nice perk, I guess. Unless you're like a pyro or something. Just a klepto. So, you're in luck. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't see a man's toddler penis and not become best friends after that. Yeah, exactly. Bond stronger than oak. Passengers, we'll be arriving soon. Check, Check under your seat, seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. And if you picked up a complimentary disposable radio, remember to Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. <sighs> Fine, just hold the camera out. Like, far. I don't look my freshest right now. It's true, Jonas. This is like B minus Alex. Just for your uh, calibration. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Jonas. It means oppressor, right? Yeah, but I mean, my sign's cancer, and it's not like my hair's falling out or anything. Here's good. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter what ma Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. 
Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. The last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up with them. No, it's... It's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. I mean, not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons, lemonade, however that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. Oh, stop it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was yeah, no problem. Anytime. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, but 102.3? Uh, okay, sure. I think they said it's 102.3. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? Yeah. I hate thinking about it. It reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. It's nice at night. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town, the beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that it used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look. There must be something. I mean, if Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High Junior Class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the Weirdo Caves. Weirdo Caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth? The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices, or just sounds, and they're impossible. No, there must be some kind of logical explanation. Like, like the rocks are somehow able to conduct lower frequencies, or pick up broadcasts from further away, or something. Or, it's aliens. So, back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owns some of the island or something? She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you'd call the local legend. She has a power. 
that woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. Yeah. Why wouldn't I be? If you're happy, you're happy. Why would you move? Yeah. Why would you? Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... Hmm. Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want. Forget I said anything. Thank you. I will. Thanks so much for bringing me out, you guys. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll... budge. Well, let's try it. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should, I should probably mention that. <laughs> oh, God. Who's that? That's, so, there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Deal? Be cool? Don't be like, just how you can be sometimes. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, Just it's... leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything, but I want to hear everything. It's not a big deal, really. Just forget about it. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as a daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... your stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um, uh, her mom is marrying my dad, so, you know. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? There's nobody else coming. We're it. What? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, <laughs> that's it. That's who you brought. That... Clarissa, come on. Don't be mean. This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> Who said I'm not having any fun? I'm having fun. This is like friggin' Candyland right now. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, sorry. I accept your apology. What did I do? You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on their- Faster. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're gonna do it. This is gonna be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yeah, the beach, island stuff. Yeah. Fire! Man's great equalizer. 
So what's the um what's the like thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah, let's just get drunk. It's supposed to be a party, right? Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Unless you lie a lot. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so first we're gonna- I'll start, Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You wanna go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait! Clarissa, come on, you're supposed to ask, like, have you ever stole something? Not super weirdo probing stuff. You ask probing stuff if you play the game right, Alex. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no. just say so. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's, that's all. She's cool. All right. Great, let's just move on. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I think I'd marry you, actually. We know each other the best, so not a lot of surprises there. Perfect. Stay-at-home husband. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? Nona. She seems like she'd be present and giving, unlike some people here. Hey, I'm present. I wouldn't lose my place or nothing. Scout's on it. Ugh, oh, God, this is such a horrible turn. Which, of course, means that you'd strangle Clarissa in her sleep if you ever got the chance. What a shocker. <laughs> eh, she got what was coming to her. Yeah, I mean, you did shove her into the community pool in sixth grade. <laughs> I did, didn't I? I was a hilarious kid. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. Mm. What's um, your... No, no. <laughs> yes? All right, let's uh, make it something... Uh... So, does Clarissa ever do anything that just, like, really annoys the crap out of you? <laughs> Think carefully now. Um, you sometimes tap your nails on things when you're uh, bored. <laughs> what? I barely do that. <laughs> I knew there had to be something. Okay, all right, huzzah, you got me. Let's just get on with it. Um, Nona, you're up? Oh, uh, Clarissa. If you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. She didn't ask you. A dolphin. Right? Or a butterfly with like a Native American poem written above it? I'd get like a little ampersand on my ring finger. I think I actually am gonna get that after I move out, so my parents can't say no. Neat. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, uh... Is there, like, a question coming, or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So, let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I okay, don't... just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom... You know why. Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you- What? 
You know guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's... let's not stop like this. We should... Like... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could And get... that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Fine. Whatever. Be Miss Pouty on the beach all night if you want. I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. I appreciate your permission to be pouty. Thank you. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. <sighs> Whatever. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm but... very clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh yeah, is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you wanna check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Come on, I'll push you over. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot. We Whenever never you're about ready. Dawn. So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of one to ten, how weird's it gonna be? Hmm, probably a five. Weird enough to remember, but not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Eh, it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, probably. Thanks for, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. I didn't think you would, but, you know, you could've and you didn't, so thanks. Well, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't throw you in the deep end or anything. Not like a certain person who yelled at Andrew Finnegan about a certain junior high dance right in the middle of gym class. That was a joke, and he agreed, so no regrets. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally. Yeah, the ceiling will be painted with our gray matter, I'm sure. Oh, wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Br magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm, well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're gonna want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... You'll know. Trust me. Holy crap! Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. How... how is this... how can this be possible? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but... They... they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. Whatever, she never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Whew. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Kind of. I got it. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. God, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... 
It sounds... like painful. Yeah. Wait, what was that? There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last... No, wo I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there, like a giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have this thing about crawling into strange, dark, wet places that might cave in at any moment. It's not gonna... Come on, I can see it from here. It's not that far. We'll be in and out. <laughs> in and out. <laughs> Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here. Because I think... Shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. Are you alright? Shout if you're, like, bleeding or something! bring an ashtray down here or a pen see a man about a dog sure will do huh. Jesus he scared me I scared you? You scared me! I had no idea where you were! I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought... I thought I heard somebody down here, but... You know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this... how this happens. No, it's... Uh, it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. What could that be? Echoes? Sounds of the ocean bouncing off the walls? It's me, I failed geology. <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others, and if it's not, we'll just leave. made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? Um, yes. It, it must be like a, like a rainbow or like a reflection of light? Those, um, exist, right? Um, cave, triangle rainbows, 
It doesn't really look like a trick of light, Jonas. It looks like someone's science fair project just floating there. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there and the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. Really? You think? Definitely. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. Apart from the, um, triangle, this is honestly the craziest thing in here. Like, how did it even get in? And I mean, aside from some, like, water damage, it's not really even that junky. I know. Saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? A guy who can't see dogs? Did you see the first half? See a man about a dog? Yeah, I don't get it either. Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. Oh my god. Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? Should... Should I stop? No! This is awesome! I can't even... Like... What is... What's... Insane. Uh, who are are you? Who are you on the? Listen, Bob Tail. She Tail. Sleeping time. I'm down. Is possible. I, I, I don't know what you mean. So I can't. Bob Tail. Leave, children. Bye. Others will see you soon. Alex. Alex! Alex! Alex? Are you okay? You all right? I thought... Uh, I'm, uh... I'm fine. God. You sure? Not, um, really. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there. But the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of... pooped itself. No, I'm way ahead of you. There's got to be some kind of emergency station, or way to get out without taking the ferry. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little de or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. So... Christ, I'm as freaked out as you are, Jonas, alright? I have a splitting headache and, like, I feel like my fingernails are gonna shoot out of my hands. Mine too. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. Where's everyone else? Ren, uh, Clarissa. I have no idea. I don't know if they even know that anything happened. I can see the cave, but 
Not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? Probably the same thing as us. Transmogrified or whatever to some other part of the island. Great. <sighs> it's locked. Let me try. Oh, after you. Oh, why, thank you. What are you even doing? Just have a little faith. See? Oh my, and me without my camera. Oh god, shut up. Is, um, is anyone there? It's, um, dead. Did you get anyone? I think someone was there, but I don't know. There's a dial tone, but there's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Nope. Ah! Ah! Jesus! Hello? Alex? Alex? When? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin, Christ, thank... Vishnu, I, you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff, I have no idea what happened, I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> so you know, that's a freebie. How'd you get this number? It's, it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at, uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like, like, just the worst thing ever. Just DEFCON fusion. Why? How did you get all the way out there? Did you just take off sprinting when I went after Jonas? No, like I said, I must have, like, passed out or... I don't know how I ended up here. Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's, like, a night watchman or something? Or they do, like, check-ins, maybe? Wait, Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick, seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? And Jonas is with you. Of course he is. I'm in the comm tower, Clarissa. Where are you? I, I don't know. I'm somewhere in Fort Milner. I don't know why. I, I don't remember, like, the last hour. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys want to stay. I just want to get out of here. Nobody wants to stay, Clarissa, but you know that the radio works? Yeah, how the hell do you think I called you guys? I just can't... There's like a way or something to connect outside, but I'm not good with this stuff. Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. Ren, are you still there? Yeah, I guess that'd be too easy. So, want to truck over to Milner first, see about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Ren sounded kind of more out of sorts than usual. I don't know. Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. We can swing through the forest and nab Ren, or we can go to the fort and see what Clarissa's up to. They're your people. You can decide. Ren needs us more. And he'd kill me if he knew we went to see Clarissa first. Sound logic. Fence should be off now. Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Come on, don't you trust me? The light turned off. I trust you to, like, not hurt me on purpose or anything, but, you know, if the fence kills me on accident, it's not really about trust at that point. <sighs> Alright, our rescuing duties have officially commenced. 
Let's get this done and get off this rock like the badasses we are. Yeah, righteous. How are you, uh, doing? I'm fine, I guess. Why? Uh, cause everything's crazy, you know? So, just making sure your shoes are still on your feet. They are. They are. How are you? Uh, could be better, but we'll get through this and on to bigger and better? Good talk. I, um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a, like a genuine forest. Yeah, it's like, what, 20 square miles or something? It's like half the island. Yeah, I thought it was just gonna be a park or something. There is a park, but it's part of the woods. But I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. We... Yeah, of course. It's just over the river and through the wood, like the song. Yeah, but in the song, the horse knew the way to carry the sleigh. Through the white and whatever snow, I think. Yeah, and in this particular scenario, I'm the noble steed who will lead us merrily to Grandmother's house. And Grandmother being... Just tell me if we get lost. You know, this whole place really creepily reminds me of a park, or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. It's weird. Oh yeah? What was that one called? Peabody, I think. I'm trying to remember the sign, but like half the letters had fallen off so it spelled P-Pork. My dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. I guess he never considered the danger of whatever's happening right now. But, you know, everything... Yeah, we once had a mall Santa who was kidnapping kids. I think that's been so far the scariest thing that's happened. Well, I mean, to be fair, that does sound pretty scary. Thing's so weird looking. Apparently, it's 400 years old. There's a cafe in town named after it. And next on the tour of Edwards Island, an old bush. Well, I think this stuff is interesting. It's four centuries old. You're not impressed by that? It's a tree, so not really. No. Twisted trunk is bent true north. When he was stationed at Fort Milner, Colonel Tim Russell would frequently wander the woods west of his barracks and sketch the wildlife he'd encounter on his walks. After the fort closed in 1974, he led a petition to make the land federally protected, and in 1988, he succeeded. 
Now, Edwards Forest is an internationally recognized wildlife refuge and bird sanctuary, home to 120 bird species, most notably the white-tailed towhee, a large sparrow indigenous to only this island. The roosting tree that stands before you is a 400-year-old red alder, famous since its discovery in 1655, when Franciscan friars noted that its unusually twisted trunk is bent true north. Um, why is there a cable car here? Couldn't they have just made, like, just like a normal bridge? Yeah, it doesn't really look safe, does it? It looks less than welcoming. Or, at least it doesn't look very inviting. Maybe there's another way. Power Transfer Station 167. Okay, that's a little strange. Why wouldn't they lock it? I mean, somebody should have locked it. Right? Maybe the guy in charge of the forest closet forgot. Maybe. Or he's dead. Yeah, maybe. Being terrorized on an island by unseen forces really makes you miss television. Well, maybe if we get the power working, you can catch up on the soaps. I found the circuit breaker. Wait, like the first thing it says is beware of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. Um, so I don't know. Terrific, you'll be my supervisor. Supervisor Jonas. So what does it say to do? Just let me do it. That way, if something bad happens, you know. That's very sweet. <sighs> really, but I'm not the type of sister you need to throw your coat on the puddle for, okay? Okay, it's your barbecue. What did you flip? Because it kind of did the opposite of what we wanted. I flipped the... Uh, it's the only one, Jonas. What other switch could I even flip? Oh, good point. The lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on... It's... I can't believe this. It's locked now. It's okay. We'll just... There's got to be a way to turn the power on still. Uh, any ideas? The, uh, light kind of reminds me of that triangle thing. I don't know why. Maybe it's a transmission or something. Other than that, I don't know. Hop up and down and cry about our bad luck. That's... that's... God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... Ah. I am so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. Was that there before? I don't think so. Alex, are you all right? Ah! Alex! <laughs> Not funny. Not funny. Opposite. Total opposite of funny. Look up. It was worth it. <sighs> what a night, huh? Yeah, sorry about this. No, no, I'm not, um, I'm not... ...saying it like it's anyone's fault. It's nobody's fault. It just happened. Stuff happened. Yeah, you're right. Stuff happens. It just sucks that we'll be all the right. stuff that's happening is, like, really terrifying and annoying. Humming like a barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. Well, this one is. Praise the Lord. Lord. 
Well, when you look at that, it didn't collapse. That's one good thing that happened tonight. Don't fret so much. You're with Alex right now, all right? Queen of the... Um... I'm not helping you. You can say that again. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the islands. I mean, I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like. Yeah. Well, I don't know about a lot, but a few times. Yeah, I can see this place being cool like in the summer, or even in the spring. You got the park, you got the main street shops. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It can be pretty nice when the, the conditions are right, you know? Some people camp here, but it's weird. I, I don't know why they just leave their tent. Looks kind of dumpy. Like, I don't know, like it's been abandoned. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like. Uh, yeah. I only mention it because my family trips were awful. My mom would always insist on going to Missouri every single year. Ugh. I mean, it was all we could afford, but still. That's a long drive for pretty much nothing. I guarantee it was better than this, so... Oh, come on. Don't even try it. Try what? Look around. Okay, yeah, tonight's like being trapped in a nightmare zoo, but I don't know. You have memories here, right? Jumping off the diving board with little Janie and eating ice cream with little Franklin... String and Christmas life. Whose life are you talking about right now? All I'm saying is, before tonight, this was a pretty cool place. And you did stuff here, and it's a part of you, you know? It's a part of you. And I just wouldn't want our first night out to, you know, wreck all of that. For like, forever. I just wouldn't want that. I... Ugh, fine. I won't hold it against the island, or whatever. I won't hold it against you or the island. I'll keep my memories. Happy? Actually... I am. Thank you. Wait, wasn't this... We passed this a minute ago, right? And it wasn't burning? I, am um, honestly don't remember. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the islands. I mean... I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like. Something is... Something's wrong. We've already done this, like, twice. Done what? Cause I don't remember any of this. Jonas, seriously, you don't remember? You keep asking me if I came here as a kid a lot. Again and again. Um, okay. I mean, if you say so, but, like, I don't even know what you're saying. What are you saying? <sighs> are we lost? Or is it- We keep repeating this one moment for some <sighs> reason. God, can't things stay normal for, like, two friggin' seconds? Well, it's more than a little troubling that I can't tell besides a uh, headache I've only just noticed, but okay, let's deal with this now, sure. This is, uh, new. It kind of stinks. Yeah, it smells like it's been sitting in a diaper for a month. Take that, ball. Um... What? So, it's just... I'm taking a picture of the ball moving, not your kicking, just so you know. Uh, okay, I'd, I'd like to know where this is going. Uh, okay, I'd, I'd like to know where this is going. Maybe don't antagonize whoever. Uh, <laughs> it's a good one. I think they have a sense of humor. That's not very nice. <laughs> oh my god. Alex. Ugh, my doctor's not going to be happy with my blood pressure this year. Yeah, mine neither. Alex, I think we're dealing with ghosts. Just a hunch. Maybe. What else could it be? I mean, really. At least I would say ghosts, okay, I would, but what about the weird repeating stuff? 
You're not remembering what we've been doing? That, that, yeah. I don't know about that. Jonas! Jonas, where... Where are you? What? What's happening? Don't tell Michael what to do about Clarissa, okay? But Michael's dead. How could I even... Wait, wait. We've done this before. What? We're still stuck, but I kicked the stupid ball and everything! What more do you want? It's all right, we must have just missed, um, something. Are you... can you kind of remember more now? It's starting to stick. Yeah, I mean, it's still sort of foggy, but whatever, I'll deal with it. Huh, this is... it's just like the armoire in the cave. Super duper old, but in, like, new condition. It's one of those, um, magnetophones, I think they're called. You know, I didn't realize I felt like a pressure in my head until right now. Maybe doing that fixed the loop. But whatever you did helped something, I think. Uh, feel any better? Maybe... Remember all the times we trekked through here now? No, not really. I mean, I remember the ball thing, but that... I guess that didn't just happen, right? I don't know, I feel like I just woke up from a dream. Everything's so vague. Let's just keep going and get Ren. craziest thing that's happening to anyone right now is happening to us. <sighs> True, but... Go on. Nah, I couldn't think of anything to say. What do you think they want? The, uh, the ghosts. I don't know. I just hope they want to, like, play soccer every once in a while, and that's it. They used to hang out together all the time. And they carved their names into this bench on a school trip once. You don't care, do you? No, please, keep going. Okay, on another school trip, they- Stop. <laughs> uh. D -d don't, don't, okay? Just don't move, okay? Don't come anywhere near me. No, no. Just don't move. Okay, just calm down. This night has turned banana bread really fast, and I'm seeing things and forgetting things, and I bumped into you once already, and it was horrible, so... We're gonna take it. We haven't... It, this is the first time we've seen you since the beach. Be that as it may, I've seen an Alex. So, just look, you're not gonna talk about my grandfather. You're just gonna stand there, politely, and tell me if you've seen Clarissa. 
Because I've been... Clarissa's no, no, we haven't. But we, uh, we're actually, we're looking for Ren right now. So have you, have you maybe seen him? No, not Ren. Okay, well... Hey, listen, Nona. You should come with us. That way we're not all, you know, separated. I'm not going anywhere with you. All right, okay, hey, I get it, I do. I'm jumpy right now, just too. Just hold up a second, Nona, okay? Yeah, can you just do us a favor? Can you just, can you go to the comm tower and wait for us? We got the lights on there, and it seems pretty safe. Yeah, that's actually, that's a good idea. Go to the comm tower and just sit tight till we get back. And the comm tower is where? It's the Cloud Buster at the edge of town. Can't miss it. And you. You're really you? Really? Yeah, Nona, it's me, Alex. All right, bye. That girl's a peach. Hey, just for me, I want to know. Back at the bridge, why'd you flip the switch yourself? You could have let me do it. I'm just curious. Uh, I just wanted to see what would happen, to be honest. All right. Okay, that must be the way station. And actually, help me understand, why would an island need anything like that anyway? Like, nobody's going anywhere. Doesn't the- Um, this was a, a mining island before the war. And the land, you know, as you can tell, it wasn't really conducive to most different ways of transport, so they dug into the hills and laid down tracks and carted the coal by freight to the, um, the pier for the boats. Can I ask you something? <laughs> yeah, of course. You think I'm kind of a slacker idiot, right? Like, I wouldn't find any of this stuff interesting? <laughs> Jonas! I think you're smart. Come on, what are you talking about? Hmm, I don't know. I just sometimes get these, like, whiffs of... I don't know. I can't think of the word for it. Disdain? I don't know. Act it out. Disdain! No, that's not it. It's like, I don't know. Nah, it'll come to me. Huh. I think I remember reading that this well is supposed to be the first thing ever, um, built, or whatever, on the island, back in the 1600s. It doesn't have a sign or anything. It... Uh, used to, I think. What job going to be, exactly? That's our job. Square miles of limestone and coral. Okay. What do we do? We were going ashore through the choppy surf under the narrow beaches in the north. But what was our job going to be exactly? That's our... Oh man, thank God. I thought you were a werewolf. Why would we be a werewolf? I've convinced myself that's the issue here. <sighs> good to see you're okay. It's bad out there. No, I'm good. I'm just glad you're here. Do you have, like... Any idea what's going on? Okay, that must be the way station. And actually, help me understand, why would an island need anything like that anyway? Ugh, Jonas, we're repeating the same stuff again. We are? Ugh, oh, it's kind of weird that you can tell when it's happening and I can't, right? I mean, it's not like... I mean, I'm glad someone can tell, but it's just strange. There's your boy. Hey, Ren. Uh, are you alright? Um, Ren? Is he in shock or something? He 
Looks weird. Yeah, I don't know. What's he doing? Is he, like, sleepwalking? I don't know how he, like, fell asleep during all this, but... No, what you're witnessing is a patented Ren-style drug freakout, Jonas. The show's always the same. He'll come to in about five hours and want orange juice and nachos. Well, I don't want to stay here for five hours, so fix him. Ren? Are you in there? Come on, pal. The neighbors are here and they want to borrow some sugar. This isn't a guy on drugs. Not that I want to, like, alarm you. Yeah, I don't want to say the word possession here, but... But what? But he's possessed. It's possession. He's, yeah, he's clearly possessed. Well, you know, let's not jump to conclusions here, but maybe it's not that. I don't know if you remember, but the last time we got stuck, we used one of these things to get out of it. So I'm not just messing around right now. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Kind of. Hey, where'd Ren go? He was standing right there. Oh God, please don't let me have screwed this up anymore. Ren must have used this to call us. Oh, it looks smashed. Maybe we shouldn't, um, go near him? Ren, can you... can you hear me? I mean, I know they say don't move somebody with a spine injury, but it's like... we gotta do something, right? Uh, this is a little different than a trampoline accident. He's, like, turning into the star child. I know, it's different. I know it's different. I'm just saying we should do something. I don't know what, but something. Left and do Ren, are, are you... Oh, God. Talk through, child. Feels... Stretched. Better. No. Jonas, where did you... We are abounding. That one. one. Silly. But do not... Stuck here, and we just want to go home. Home, Kamina. We will go home. All of us. Leave. Possible. Uh, maybe, but I, I don't really. Grounded. Bye. Adler. So, uh, Margaret. Pretty. Little. Poppy. Peggy Adler, that old woman? What does she have to do with it? That old woman was young once. 
You guys? God, Ren! Man! My heart's don't... Uh, don't do that! Man! Why? Why is this... Why? Actually... Thanks for coming, by the way. Sure. Why is this happening? I mean, I've been here. I visited this place like 15 times. The island's haunted, Ren. Like haunted with memories, or elevators on their period haunted? The second one. Guys, anyone... Is this thing working? If Tony? anyone can hear this, out there, in a... whatever, I, I'm at the comm tower on Edwards Island. Hey, she listened to us. Great. So, if anyone can... what is this? I I'm trying to communicate with the... Does she know how to even work that stuff? Doesn't sound like it. Ugh. Can't, like, anyone work a two-way radio? Didn't everyone have that, like, one trucker uncle who let them work the CB a few times for fun? Guess not. So... Are we going back to the comm tower for Nona, or...? Uh, we should round up Clarissa at Fort Milner first. Look, we'll split up. You guys do that, and I can go tend to the lovely damsel distressed in the old tower. I wish you wouldn't put it that way, but... Yeah, thanks. Leave us the supremely annoying one. You're welcome! All right, well, guess we're going that away, so... We'll see you at the comm tower. Hopefully with Clarissa. Don't do anything stupid! Not a problem. Milner Ho? Milner Ho. What is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, um, might have left. She sounded weird. Like, not just staticky weird. It could be the system, or whatever, just the equipment making her sound deformed. Ren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? What if they just said it was decommissioned, and there's, like, still people, like, in there, like, doing stuff? What are you even talking about right now? Just, what if all the stuff that's, like, happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing, is, like, the direct result of some government secret project? Like, what if there's some, um, experimental, uh, program? Sure. I mean, I'm kind of in no place to toss aside any reason for what's been going on, so... Yeah, it's the government. Let's go with that. It's just my going premise right now, so... I don't know. Keep a tally. Photography prohibited. That is a very serious sign. Restricted. Keep out. Now they're not messing around. Yeah, that sign's old. Like, back when we were fighting Nazis old. Still, it's a little disconcerting. It's just my going premise right now, so... Al-7. A low-frequency radio wave is incident upon a body of radio waves travel forever until it is absorbed by matter or a person. Spooky. Yeah. You ever fired a gun? No. Never really wanted to, either. 
Yeah, me neither. My grandfather had a, a snub-nosed centennial. Even small, they're heavy. I never liked it. See that sign? They were originally going to make this whole place into a museum, but quit halfway through. It doesn't look very, uh, safe, so I can understand why. Dinner time! It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? Alright, I know the answer is no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio men for the- Wait, seriously? Doors that open themselves have been, like, a really bad thing in my experience. Oh, really? Even automatic doors like in supermarkets? Well, I got my elbow pinched in one of those one time, so yes, even those. And I'm sure it was traumatizing, but we gotta go anyway. Sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't be locked. Come on. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Um, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? <sighs> yes, quite annoyingly. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? I'm just trying to... Well, you know, you'd have to ask him what he was into, I guess. I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? I mean, just what would a guy like that see in her? Like, at least at the start, there must have been something, right? Look, Jonas. Girls go for assholes and guys go for psychos for the same stupid reason. They're interesting. For a while. But that crap gets old fast. Ah, <sighs> can you imagine sleeping here? I'm trying not to. But why would the construction guys leave the bed frames? Seems kind of... I don't know. Kind of. Yeah, it's... It's just strange to see it like this. Hey, that's... Clarissa! Don't just leave me here, Jonas! Wait! Jonas, what happened? Are, are you alright? Jonas, can you hear me? Testing, testing. Um, okay. I can't... I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but luckily this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here, and it's just a room, so, like, riddle me that, first of all, and then second of all, I can't get out. Uh, yeah. Hold on. I'll check. I-I can't- Hello? Are you- Look, is someone there? When the time comes, let Jonas talk to his mom. How is this possible? What's going on? Ow. Um. Okay, what just happened? Cause that... that sucked. Uh, Clarissa ran in there, disappeared into the walls, yeah, and- Yeah, I'm not really one to hate stuff, but I hated all of that. Oh, here's a padlock code. 3418. It's on a list of... Huh. 
They call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I... Did, did you see that? In... in the mirror? The reflection... was weird. Uh, don't think I'm nuts or anything, but my reflection kind of gave me, like, fatherly advice that made absolutely no sense when you were... It seems all right now. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't anything. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Radio locks. <laughs> the technology here has always been... It's like primitive and from the future. Yeah, no, it's something. Three, four, eighteen, and voila! Who said? Uh, you tell me. <sighs> I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen, so let's just carry on. Oh, I'm gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway, I thought I'd... Oh my god, go in the corner then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. I'll force it out fast. This is... If the knight needed a capper, this is it. Right here. My vagrant new stepbrother. Peeing on a rat. Don't look at me. Be quieter. It's like louder than the rainstorm. I know the uh, acoustics are really carrying it. Sorry. Clarissa! Okay, that was definitely her. What is she... is this just like a game to her or something? What is she thinking? I mean, I'm freaking out too, but like... Relax, honey. This might be like a Nona situation where she's just... Uh, losing it a bit. You know, it just occurred to me, she could also be having like a Ren episode. A Renisode. Possessed, or whatever we want to call it. But Ren... Ren acted like he was underwater. The guy could barely move. Yeah, well, that's true. Hello? Is this thing... is this... God, is this... is this going out, or... Wait, I can... Ah, oh, I can hear myself, that's oh, not... Man, maybe God, she didn't does, see does anybody... us, I don't know, but... Whatever, she still has a radio, so we still gotta get to her. What did you worry? Charlie Six. Every individual it has maintained is enveloped in a radiance invisible to the carnal eye and only perceived by the soul accustomed to it. And just as guilty as a soldier would be who deserted his post under fire. Now in making an example of you, I... The handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. I really have no idea. Well, you really couldn't just say your friends do this for my own peace of mind? What was that? You... you heard that, right? Something just fell. Relax. I'm sure a bird landed on a piece of loose masonry or something. Probably. It's not opening. <sighs> Clarissa! I'm worried. Something must be really wrong. Clarissa's a lot of things, but she wouldn't... 
do whatever this is. We can't leave until she shows us where that radio is. I know it's annoying, but it's our only hope for getting us out of here so far. in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey kids, wanna play a game? Uh. They're talking about... it's talking about the Navy? Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like, a test? Hey, why are we being tested? What did we do? Here's a simple one to start, so don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School Ten. we're standing in? Isn't this Nine. like a classroom? Eight. I, I thought it was just like a, a fort. U.S. Army B Radio Communication School. That's the stuff, Charlie. Now you're swinging. It all goes into your final rating. You want to get a good rating, don't you? You want to be a good soldier? Why the hell would we want to be a good soldier? Why do you care what I want or don't want or anything? I didn't come here for this. Yeah, we really, really didn't come here for this. Why should we care? They didn't care. Oh, Jesus. What is going on? Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Who Ten. would know that? This isn't- You call codes cookies? There. Now you're cooking. Coded radio transmitters have an important job, and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Okay, look. Is this a trick? Is whatever I'm gonna say gonna bite me in the ass no matter what? Because if that's the case, then... Watch your language, young lady. There's no room for sass in the armed forces. Oh, screw you! This is... We are an island race. And through all our times, the sea has ruled our breaks. Jonas, are, are you, uh, doing okay? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Pencil's ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Ten. The other ships, other Nine. To sail them. Above all Eight. victories, beyond all loss. Seven. In spite of changing values in the changing world. Fifty-three? You're off, Bob. That's not gonna cut it. Ninety-seven brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. Eighty-five officers, twelve passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many. I am. I didn't need to get that far. States submarine Canaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Canaloa was lost today, lost at sea, near. Is this? Are you the dead officers that sunk on the Canaloa? We. Are sunken. What? What do you want? For the first time, for the first time, for the 
First time. Time. Just time. What? I... that was... not fun. Just take it slow and easy. You've just had... an experience. Yes. Yes. Very good. This has been United News. And thank you for listening. This is just unbelievable. Anyone? Can anyone just... That's gotta be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here. Or use her radio and get out of here, but let's just get out of here. Something, I hope. Yeah. Cross your fingers. Uh, Clarissa. Oh, well, look at this. The super twins decided to grace me with their presence. I thought maybe I wasn't good enough for a house call, Doc. Uh, okay, don't even start, Clarissa. We came. We're here. Be happy. All right, don't get all, you know, but be honest. Did you come because I needed help, or did you come because there was a radio? Um, Clarissa... I want to hear it from Alex. <sighs> yes, of course, Clarissa. I really don't appreciate the question. Okay. Speaking of the radio, where is it? I don't know. I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex... Want to take a look at this? Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low-frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't... I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, 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 isn't there... Any the officers who know your problems full and well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Uh, not now! We're... We're looping again. Crap. Well, just keep me in the loop. I didn't mean to say that. Clarissa! Is there anything like... Can we cut her down with some... <sighs> Holy crap. What is it? Is something wrong? Or not? We're... We've been in a little time loop thing, and it's just been... Kind of extreme. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was a stupid thing to say. Just... Come on, I'm here with you. Clarissa? I would have swore she was in here. Better gone than dead. Oh, maybe this was the, the thing, the radio she was using. Clarissa? Clarissa, it's us, it's Alex. Are you okay? Alex, don't worry. She's like, never forget she's that like, Clarissa, American, will you wake up? For freedom. Why would she do that? Why would she do that? She... she was... she was like possessed. I... I, I just... I, I just... Uh, this is... Jonas, this is so horrible. I don't... I don't even know what to... We... We should get to the others. I... I can't even imagine telling them. Or... Or how to tell them. I'm... We'll... we'll figure it out. This is unbelievable. Wow. Um, there's no way she got up from that, right? Like, there's no way. Wait, she's... alive? How... how is... how is that possible? I'd bet all the money in my pocket that no one could survive that. So why isn't she here? This... isn't possible. Cause... Hallucination? Dual hysteria? I, I don't... I don't know, Jonas. Well, regardless... Good news... 
Yeah, we'll see. <sighs> Let's just get back to Ren at the comm tower. Maybe he's had better luck than us at... Any anything? the important ones are safe. Alex, come on. Clarissa's probably not doing too great right now. That was like two-thirds a joke. Come on. <sighs> hey! Hey! I... I saw you guys coming up from the tower. The Dick Tower. I think you mean Harden Tower. Please don't ruin that for me. It's all I have left. How's Nona doing? We heard what I imagine was her first radio cast ever earlier. Yeah, no, she's, I don't know. I mean, she's frazzled one moment, then that makes me frazzled, then she sees that I'm frazzled, so she like freezes up. Any luck contacting somebody? Nope, no luck to speak of. And honestly, I thought this week was gonna be a big karma dump. I found like the- Well, we're all here now. Well, I mean, except Clarissa, but we're mostly all here and we'll come up with something. I hope so. The stupid radio has been what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. Just won't work right, just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just about to start doing Wait, it. Wait, second brownie? Ren, please tell me this is a joke, okay? This is a joke, right? Mmm, why would this be a joke? I'm not joking. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. If you're down, brings you up. You better pray to whatever god scares you the most. It does level you out, because if this screws us up, you're on summary probation. Don't say that. That's not... that's not nice. Oh, god. This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like... I don't know. Hey, Nona. Night's still going, huh? We heard you on the uh, speaker system. You got that working? That's about all I got working. Uh, sorry I was, like, weird earlier, but hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been like, it's been ghosts. Nona, ghosts are going on. The blackouts, the hallucinations, it's all been ghosts. Ghosts? Really? Yeah, and it would really help if you could just jump to the believing us part. It would save a headache. Oh, oh, I got it. This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. She's Her house, manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know, but the keys to it are here, somewhat readily available. My sister, Allie, worked at the park's office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not gonna go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, hey, come on. I'm not a Burnout. Okay, so well, I... and I'm not saying it's the best plan, but what other plan is there really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop. And these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm still worried about Clarissa. But we don't know where Clarissa is. I'm not saying literally do that, I'm just... There's other things we can do. <laughs> but there isn't. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? Come on, Jonas, this is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault, certainly not ours. Yeah, guys, this isn't really a productive... It should be obvious, to even the cheap seats, that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex- Okay, Ren, just take a step back, all right? Jonas isn't a weirdo. He's a... he's a good guy. What? Your good guy is like deploying a missile barrage of insanity on me right now. I know you said Ren is like, harmless or whatever, but I'm over giving him passes. And you should be too. 
I don't need a pass from you. Alex- Guys, stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there what is, is a boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Yeah, it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever. I'm ready. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my... Like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You, uh... Ugh, stop it! Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of... Keeping in mind who's taller... Who do you want coming with you? Jonas, let's go. Ah, <sighs> thank you. What?! First you ditched me back in town to talk to this guy about God knows what, and now that stuff's gone crazy, you're still picking him over me? Him? Him. Him? Ren, come on. It'll be fine. We'll watch the walkie-talkie. Ren, you ate another brownie. What do you expect me to do? I expect you to, like, care? I expect you to think, hey, maybe Ren needs some support. Just... <sighs> Just fine. Whatever. Have fun, you two. This isn't fun. That's the point. Oh, God. Will you just shut up? Okay. Before things get stupid again, good luck with the whole key thing. We'll be waiting, guys. Okay, look, I'm gonna say I'm sorry now for what happened up there, but I do not want you to take it as an admission of guilt. That distinction is important, because I don't think anything that I said was that off-base. Well, if you're going to say you're sorry, I guess the floor is yours. I'm sorry. I am. I didn't mean it to get... ...that far. Look, I... Uh, and I just want to clear the air, too, just so Ren or whoever can't use it as ammo against me, but... You might have heard that I, uh, went to jail at some point. I never went to jail, but I did beat up a guy and get sent to juvenile detention for it. And I just wanted you to know so it wasn't like a thing hanging over your head or anything. Why'd you, um, why'd you do it? Just, my mom got sick and then she got real sick and then this kid, Timmy Finster, threw a baseball at my head and yes, he was joking, but I don't know, I just popped. Yeah, it was as stupid as it sounds. And I'm not gonna defend myself. You lost control, Jonas. It happens. We... we break sometimes. My mom found out, of course, and I never really squared it with her in a way that... I don't know. Things never really work out the way you want, you know? But, whatever. Are you... are you okay? It's not like I'm sick or whatever. I'm fine. I'm not gonna say I'm a good guy, Alex, but I'm trying to be, and that's really about all I can say. You are a good guy, Jonas. I'm a scary judge of people. I'm like a bee. I can sense stuff. <laughs> but I'm serious now. You're a good guy. 
okay? Say it. I'm a good guy. Okay, alright. I'm a good guy. Let's just move on. is famously named after Colonel Caleb Edwards for his glorious and triumphant slaughtering of countless families during one of the great ethnic cleansings of the 20th century. The forceful removal of an ignorant people to make space for destined holders is a time-honored tradition in our still young country. And you will be a part of that heritage, Alex. Do not resist. It will be over soon. <laughs> This is, I wanna, this is whatever, but are you like religious at all? I mean, my dad said your mom wasn't, but that doesn't necessarily mean, you know. No, not at all. My parents weren't, and I'm not either. Okay, but still, even after tonight, this hasn't shaken anything loose or made you, made you sort of reconsider? No, I, I mean, we say they're ghosts. Unexplained phenomena. But when a bird looks in the mirror, she doesn't see her reflection, she sees like, a bird assassin. And there's a strong possibility we're just as stupid right now. Huh, all right. Well, my mom was Methodist. My dad kinda didn't care, but tonight, kinda, I guess I'm just realizing a lot of it's rubbed off on me more than I thought, but is that? Oh my God, is that Clarissa? She's, well, well, I was gonna say okay, but I'm not too sure about that. Clarissa, where have you been? The last time we saw you jumped out a window. I, I mean, I thought, we thought you were dead. Oh, Jesus, she has the... She's doing the thing, the eye thing. Christ, this is not... I am not getting used to this, I'll be honest. Okay, just what do you guys want? This isn't... Uh, this is just really lost its charm, I have to say. Maybe they want to... Maybe the ghosts or whatever want to help us somehow? Is that the, like, point of trying to... Trying to, whatever, like, talk through us or something? I guess. Only one way to find out. Melissa, how are you, uh... Doing, hun. Alex, little help over here. Clarissa, why don't you crawl down from there, please? Jesus. You think you can control me? Clarissa? I'm... I'm trying to help you. This is... this will... Help me? Help me? How will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I used to dream about something like this. Don't you... Uh, there's a ghost in you right now. They're, they've like perverted this... Ghost! Sounds pretty scary, kids. Better leave the nightlight on. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Is she okay, or...? Oh, she's... Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> Steady, just... just take it easy. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay, just take it slow. You've just... been through something. <sighs> Do you remember anything that happened? <sighs> I remember... waiting in Fort Milner... and seeing you. That's it? How did I get here? We... I think we were hoping you could tell us that. But I don't even know if it matters. You're here now. Clarissa, you were dead a minute ago. Do you... do you realize that? We saw your body, no joke. Okay, well, I'm alive now, so hallelujah. You really don't remember anything? No, I remember something. I remember you, with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? 
Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Are you... are you controlling this? It's, uh, my turn, if that's what you mean. And you, of all people, should know what my question is gonna be, because I'm not gonna waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother are all... <sighs> Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and I think it jump-started everything. I see. But I mean, come on, like, who knew this would happen? We thought it was a weird trick of light or something. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She created- It was both of us. Jonas was there too. It's not like I decided to end the world tonight or something. Oh my god. You see this? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God. The town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like- Clarissa, just shut up! Look around! We're not at high school where anyone gives a crap about your pet miseries! Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa- It doesn't make it my fault! Anyone could have been there, anyone, and then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick! Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, enough, seriously. This is- Clarissa, this is so- I, I can't even believe we're talking about this right now. She is- Jonas, it, it was awful, all right? It's still awful, and I- I know. I know it's okay, I know. But right now, we're gonna break into that office, and we're gonna find the key. And we're going to go home. No. No, what do you mean, no? All the outs in free. So let's- Wait, what- Wasn't Clarissa with us like two seconds ago? That's crazy, she was- It was like she was just here. Oh, damn it. Yeah, she was just here. Wait, I'm getting- It's deja vu again. Are we- did we get glitched again? <sighs> you know, I don't... I don't understand how what we did in that cave is making... making any of this happen. Like, what are the triangles? What are the gates? What are the... why are there ghosts? Why... I don't know if I buy the whole we're causing it thing. The ghosts could be messing with stuff, messing with us. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm not gonna... Whatever, we're here to get the key, and then we can leave and put all of this far behind us. Let's do it. The office is right here. Let's get in. Yep, this isn't budging. Well, the lock looks, uh, less than modern. Let's just brute force it, both of us. It might splinter, but we should get in. I don't get enough breaking down doors in my life, really, so I'm not gonna complain. <clears throat> All right, let's see if Ren's plan was a good one or not. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Not a chance. Cool. Carry on. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it's like there's way more stations on the dial. It says that... Here's another one. It says they're wall radios. Wall stands for... Wave-assisted lock. Ah, they use, um... That frequency thing, where each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. It says that you use them like identification tags. It must work for the gate, too. Really? How does it work? I'm not entirely sure, but it looks pretty simple according to the, uh, thing here. You just tune into whatever the signal is, and, uh, that should be it. Oh, wait, look at this. Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or, like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? We can head back. I'm just gonna... Here, this is... To whom it... ...should concern. This is a letter from her? This island and its history is a lie. Wow. Well, this is going somewhere. What? What could that mean? I've been compelled by both forces outside my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. 
But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Forces outside our control, like, like ghosts or the army or what was she talking about? I don't know. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons in the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! Wait. To whosoever finds the material know that I am discomfited for keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve, but also know that I acted in what... I felt were the best interests for all at the time, and truly for the interest of time itself. And then it's just signed, um... Oh, <laughs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had, like, dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Please do not get glassy eyes over this, okay? You, we, do not have to dig up some old lady's recycling. We can just go home. Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees. The sun's out, you know? I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit? It's cold, that's why. The sun is kinda out, but when you're in the shade, it drops to like 50. No, it doesn't. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Am I, did I get stuck in time or something? No, I know. Day's going by like crazy fast, right? I feel like we were practically just accosted by those soccer players. Hey. No, I mean, in this time period. Oh, geez, you're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? That's like the worst time. Where's... where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? It just... never mind, I guess. Okay, Clarissa, take a note. Remind me to check the yearbook for a Jonas, so I can make fun of Alex's secret boyfriend. <laughs> Noted. Today turned out to be... a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Uh... yeah, um... it... really is kinda ideal, actually. Yeah, I'm like right about to start sweating, but I'm not. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... Truthfully, I've, um... I've... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh god, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> okay, I guess. So... Uh... <laughs> do you... Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? Our whole, like, island horror show. Ghosts and possessions and... And none of this is jarring like anything loose. If this is about Ren's movie, I mean, I told him I didn't want to do it. Half the script was an underwear scene, so... You know, no thanks. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close and, like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever so i think it would be cool if we could like continue to do things together yeah i uh, totally understand and yeah let's uh, do stuff you know cool cool michael uh he loves you like a lot i'm sure you know that but he talks about you all the time 
<laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? He just, uh, he thinks you're a cool girl. Yeah, well, I love him too. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Glad you got it back, regardless. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um... Uh, yeah, get me a drink too? Sure, I'll be back. Okay, I'm here, what's the story? I want the news, I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? I'm, uh, doing all right. Yeah? <sighs> yeah. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy-smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. No way, bucko. <laughs> bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Alex, are you all right? <sighs> okay, uh, are you are you back? You've been acting super weird for like the last five minutes. Do, do, do you know that? I mean, I let it go for the first two, but... Jonas, I just saw... <sighs> I think I just saw my brother. Wait, what? Where? Here? Is he... D did you see him somewhere here? I, I was... It was like those time loops we've been experiencing, right? This was... It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Just now? You didn't die. Did you get it? Did it work? Do you hate me because it didn't work? It worked. It worked. We got the... Well, actually, turned out to be a radio, but I guess it can open doors and gates and stuff with different frequencies. Really? But we can open the gate? Yeah, we think. Ah, good. How have you been? Any, uh, terror? My terror has been keeping it kind of a mild simmer, so, uh, it's a win? Better than it could have been, I guess. But if the radio's the thing... Wait, where's Clarissa? We can't leave yet without her. Have you seen her or heard from her? Yes, but she kinda then disappeared. Listen, if we have the key... Cool. Oh, wow. Neat. <sighs> Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. That house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de... How did she get so rich if she was just like a communications person or whatever in the military? I think I said when we got here, her family like owned part of the island or something. I think she just inherited a lot, honestly. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. And here's a combination for a padlock to a... Chest is all it says. 29, 18, 54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? 
negative, but maybe I just missed it. She made a lot of... what should I call these? Slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? It's like a... it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No, we checked everything. Huh. Well, uh... What's plan B if we can't find it? Um, plan B... Keys, they... they have to be in the house. For the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. That is a nifty gizmo. Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How would that make sense? How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have like... A radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? In the back. In the kitchen. Okay, sure. Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just... everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat, or a phone, or whatever, and just find a way home. I promise. We can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Fine. Yes, okay, Perfect. let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Ooh, you know what? This might be the, um, the chest that takes that combination. 29, 18, 54. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here tune into the source? We think that means she couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Uh, she must have figured it out, that there were ghosts here and the potential for them to be running amok. I guess that's a possibility. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So, say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Show you. Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused, aren't you? Well, you should be. How does it go? Things are different, except in a different way? <laughs> Just come downstairs so we can get started. Nona, are you okay? Wait, wake up! Ren, come on, we got a boat to catch, buddy. Jonas, up and at him. Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Training? I, I don't want to be trained. What are you signed up for this, Alexandra? In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. 
So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. I was I meant to know what the hell was gonna happen. And yet, without understanding your footing, you still acted. But don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see on the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humor as... What is it with you guys and all the... the games? You're like dogs or children. Just what is the point? The point, dear. The point is that they were never games. And you can figure that out by your lonesome. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So... Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Oh, I'm sorry, child. You weren't even close. Stop it! Come on! No, it's it's my fault. I no, no. Bring her back now. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. What's done is done, as they say. If you'd paid attention, you'd have noticed the television set right by my side, the little X-ray emitting death machine. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation in another sense. Pay attention. What does this have to do with, with us? I mean, we're... we're I not. spy with my little eye a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Uh, is it the... the this painting? It, it looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You're doing so well. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. Five little dots. The, the picture of of I guess it's Maggie Adler and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Anna. You see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing. Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Anna tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time, and a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Okay, if we- if I help you, will you stop whatever it is that you're doing with my friends? Ah, uh, well... There's the rub. The not the eternal, eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so the sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. You, you can't do that! Think about what you're doing! We can do that, Alex. And what has seemed to your parents as 80 years has been for us eons to know an existence without life. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait to soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. There has to be another way. I mean, just maybe, I mean, maybe I can do something with the radio. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. You don't know what it's been like, but how could What you're doing is wrong, and you know that. Any integrity we once had drowned in the reef ages ago. When our vessel dashed on the rocks, we had until dawn, and so are you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. <sighs> so, I'm kind of screwed. influence Michael. He can live his own life. What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here. <sighs> So 
we can go on. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. No, that was very, very real. And look, Alex, if you're ever getting asked to find someone's crap, lest ghosts are gonna punish not you, ask to tag out or something, cause God, that felt like my skin was getting pulled off. Normally, she's good at this stuff. Normally. It was much harder than it looked, trust me. So, I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then, I mean, the plane has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is... Clarissa is only like one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah, but how do we do that? Well, uh, good question. Maggie, ah, I think Maggie Adler might have had some sort of a plan or a, a scheme or something to fix what's going on. What possible plan could Maggie Adler have? First of all, she's dead. And second of all... She knew something. I mean, look around. This whole house is like a ghost hunting command center. And she thought she needed to tune a radio into the... the source of the problem in the cave. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. Alright, I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields anyway? Wait, is it a Fippany? It's a Piffany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. Be careful, that film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. All right, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos. Yeah. I'm sure this it's is sweet. They're learning. Boo! S okay, all right, we get it. Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's, that's going a little above, above and beyond. Well, how would she even know this? I don't care how much research she did, this would be out of anyone's realm of expertise. Well, something better work or- Or we're boned. Or we're boned, precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait, this is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See, it says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the catbird station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Okay, any other ideas? Preferably ones that aren't unnecessarily complicated and obtuse and hanging by the thinnest spiderweb thread of relevancy. It's, I don't know, but it's the only thing we have so far. And time's a clicking. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. All right, break. And if anything goes wrong, please, don't tell me. I won't want to know. 
Ha, we won't. Alex, okay, are you... are you back to normal? I just saw... It, it, it was like a premonition, I think, and I know that sounds whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that, because I kind of just saw Ren drowning. Okay, okay, just take it easy for a second. You went all red-eyed, like when we get possessed. I did? You stopped walking and started mumbling, and then your eyes lit up like little road flares. It only lasted like a minute, but we should hurry up and do this before the door on you opens any wider to them. Yeah, uh, let's get this over with. <laughs> no, look, it kinda made sense. Hey, guys! Uh, wait, did I get the plan wrong? Cause if I got it right... No, you didn't get it wrong. You're supposed to be yellow brick roading it to the wood station right about now. We're just taking this way, that's all. What, the scenic route? Everything's the scenic route. There's no quicker way. Uh, okay, well, we'll be here. Good luck. You know what time it is? It's four in the morning. Which is usually about the time everyone decides if they're going to bed or ordering another three pizzas. Yeah? What's your vote usually in, uh, that situation? Uh, never leave pizza on the table. It's like getting eleven in blackjack. Just double down. Don't even think about it. You think this tuning into the tear thing's gonna work? Like, really? It really doesn't matter if I think it's gonna work. It's sort of all we have, and we're running out of time. It is all we have, yeah. I just... I just wish I felt like the ghosts were concerned that their plan won't work. I just feel like they're pretty confident. Like they know by sunrise they're all gonna be shopping for school supplies. Jonas, they should be concerned. They should be... scared. And that's on them if they're not. Alright, good to hear. I think this... um... stuff is getting pulled in from, like, their time or something this is so weird um yeah it's not exactly a good omen i think we're running out of runway here i guess maggie was the one who had this place turned into a park Now the station's up at the top of the hill. <sighs> I hope this works. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. <sighs> God, we're in another loop de loo They always come at the most appropriate times, don't they? <sighs> yeah, they do. Thanks for the update. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. Yep, I am also... hope that. Oh. 
threats from the first Ren! Nona, what happened? What's wrong with Ren? Ren, he's... he had an accident. He... he died. I couldn't... Nona, come on. Clarissa was dead too, but like bunny ears dead, not dead dead. Because apparently killing yourself doesn't actually do anything here. Alex! Well, it's the truth, Jonas. And I'm not gonna stand here and fall for one of these I'm dead, no I'm not shuffleboard swaps again. Come on, let's skip to the last chapter. I know what's gonna happen. He... he drowned. He took a fall. I don't know. He just... he just stopped. I mean, does it really matter what happened? Either way, done is done. And done, in this case, is particularly... No, you're not Jonas, so there's no use in pretending. Soon it won't be a pretense. It'll be an absolute. Alex, we know you're in charge, and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. It never does. So we have a proposition for you. A deal. A bargain, really. And you... What on earth would give you the idea that I'm in charge? It's been like herding puppies the entire night, making anyone do anything. Please drop the modesty. It's lying for no reason. It's already over for Phyllis and she's gone. We'll pilot her through the rest of existence and there's nothing you can do to change that. But, if you agree to let us take her, let her go, quietly and without fuss, we won't slaughter the rest of your friends, like young Reginald here. We need the rest of you no, help. No, no way! I'm saving everyone! Everyone is coming home with me. We're all getting out of here. <sighs> Courage is not always the way, dear. You don't have much time left. Do you know how we know you don't have much time left? Hmm? We're getting out of here. All of us. Run too. <laughs> okay. We know because we can be Jonas for this long, and his soul is as quiet as an empty church. Just never say we didn't provide you all. I know he was your best friend, Alex. I I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know what happened. One minute he was there, and then he was just gone. It's okay, Nona. You, you didn't do anything wrong. I know it's not your fault. Of course, it's not your fault. I didn't know him that well, but I like what I'd gotten to know. I'm sorry. It's. I shouldn't. It's colossally stupid of me to talk about him like that with you here. This is. He was more important. No, not really. Ren would be flattered to hear you say anything about him, so if he can hear this at all, trust me, he's over the moon right now. Sure. It's a tiny thing, but I hope he knew that I liked him. And I don't know if he did. He knew, Nona. Don't worry. He knew. Like I said, it's a tiny thing. But thanks, Alex.
The station's up at the top of the... Ugh. God, that was... My mouth feels like I just ate a tree. Do you remember Ren? Nona? Their whole little situation? Yeah, I mean, maybe it was just a version of things, you know? Like it didn't happen in this time, or... Probably. I mean, all the stupid loops have been... They just seem divergent, I guess. I don't know. Hello? Anyone there? What? Are they... Oh, they're, um, they're somehow... I guess they're somehow broadcasting or something from the, uh, station speakers. <laughs> are you guys at the station? Anybody! How are they... Jonas? Like, doing that? Uh, Jonas? Beats me. Jonas, I mean, there has to be, like, a switch on their end or something to control the, Seriously, uh, right in the front. talk box. Jonas, don't listen. Uh -huh. We're all set here for the, uh, the thing? The machinery speak and hug or whatever we're doing? Yeah, let's do it! Time's a wasted. Like, actually wasted. Like, I feel my body wasted away. No, it's, it's okay if you're, like, dealing with stuff. We had to deal with stuff. What stuff? How do you know? The, uh, when I almost kind of slipped and fell off the bridge. Oh my god, you guys, that... No, it was the... It was psychotic to watch. Like, almost doesn't quite describe the terror that held my heart watching her come close. To it wasn't that. You were perilously close to tumbling into the ocean from like 5,000 feet up. It wasn't that high. Right, radio locked. It was like... forgetting this thing is... It was hot. That. Believe me. Okay, I just have to tune No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. No, it... Ugh, just whatever. I'm fine. She is fine. It's true. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, just... Whenever you're ready, because I'm sure you're listening. Yeah, just hit the button, the receiver thing, and we can do this stuff. Stuff, exactly. <laughs> okay, over. Over now. Why do you have to have a last word? Over is good enough. Over now. Here, we made it. Hello. Oh, hello. This is Edward Island's emergency. How may I help you? If you're being sat on by a very large burglar, just mash the dial with your fist, please. Um, look, the, the ghosts told me they wanted to, to make a sort of deal for Clarissa. What? I said no, of course, but I, I don't know. I just thought you guys should know before moving on. All right, well, let's do the, the thing and get into the shelter and try and fix this fast. Signal verified. Shelter TF1 open. Nice. I guess it worked. Great. Okay, we'll meet you there. Right. See you at the shelter. Over and out. Mr. Jordan, couldn't we have him reborn? Jonas! Okay, 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 I'm... Jesus Christ, I really hate that. But I'm... I think, um... What is it... like, what does it feel like when that happens? Is you forget stuff, really. Like what you're supposed to be doing, or... I usually forget my dad's name to start. And then it snowballs into not remembering how to walk or talk, and... Then you pass out. But you, like, see stuff, right? Like, when I saw Michael on the beach... Yeah, and I, I see stuff, but it's like, I don't know, they're like dreams. They just dissolve when I'm back. Look, it's scary, needless to say, when I, like, drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like... Just, like, how do I say this? Because I don't want to... It's okay, is... Jonas. Just say what's on your brain. I just want to say... I just I think it would have been cool, us living together for, for whatever, senior year. And I'm just... 
glad I met you, that's all. I'm just glad we met. <laughs> I'm glad too, okay? So there, it's out in the open, we're both glad. Okay, good. So, that's it. And now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. And we're gonna be fine, by the way. There's no... You don't have to put it like it would have been whatever to live together. We are gonna live together, and you're someday soon gonna eat all the peanut butter, and when I go make a sandwich, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> all right. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna say one thing, and then I promise it'd be the last time I bring it up tonight, but... You know you screwed up with Ashley at the concert, right? I mean, it's not a giant thing, but still. Who's Ash... Oh, you mean Amanda? My really good friend Amanda who's moving away forever? That Amanda? Yeah, that Amanda, who stole her mom's car. And I don't care if you didn't know she didn't have permission to take it, because whatever, fine. But you knew you didn't have permission to go to that show. <sighs> Just tell me it's the last time I hear about you stealing a car. However inadvertently, my little heart can't handle the excitement. Mm, nope, not promising that. What's the point in living if not to boost cars for an underworld criminal empire? I guess I can't answer that. Oh, and I wanted to say, um, <laughs> per your advice, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna really, um, like, commit to Clarissa. <laughs> that sounds dumb, like I'm pinning her or something. Wow, big man on campus. I don't know why I said that. Big step, that's what I mean. Big step. Eh, it's not a big deal. I'm just letting you know, so... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. I just wanted to tell you. Come on, let's get to the sentry before the last boat comes. I gotta get the uh, visual aid for the history project. And then I just gotta write the stupid essay. Ugh, Michael, come on. You're graduating in like three months. Shouldn't you be coasting? Hey, I am coasting. This just happened to be slightly fun. This is... It's just like a town history thing for civics, you know? So it's forced me to kind of, I don't know, and I mean, it's funny, I don't know if I even want to be here next year. It's just all so flat. Well, if you leave, I'd certainly miss you. Yeah, no, I'd miss you too. It's just that everybody here knows me, you know? I know you think I have it on easy street, but people looking at you all the time, wanting evidence that it's good, that they lived here, that good things can happen to people that are from here, it can get to be a real drag. Like, how about somebody else be captain of whatever for once? Give me a rest. You were... are great, though. And... and you're gonna be great whatever you do. I'm sure of it. You got spunk, kid. Yeah, well... <laughs> uh, let's head back before Karen Strands is here. You know, when we saw Uncle Pete last month, I wanted to ask him, because he... he got out moving to New York. And I asked him if it was hard leaving. Know what he said? Oh, God, Michael, I have no idea. I mean, knowing Uncle Peter, he was probably three sheets to the wind. He said the hardest part was deciding what to take with him and what to leave behind. I thought it was, I don't know, for him, <laughs> kind of almost touching. Oh, my, how profound. I can't believe Uncle Pete's a mere failed actor and not teaching philosophy at Berkeley. Oh, shut up. I cannot believe I had to pick you up from the police station because of Grand Theft Auto. I mean, that is too funny. <laughs> oh, shut up! Alex? Shut up, shut... Uh... You got, you know, you went bad again? I couldn't get you out of it. We should really, we should get this done, now. I saw, I saw Michael again. I just... I'm sorry. When I'm there, I just get sucked into it like nothing happened. Come on. It's all right. I think I can hear Ren and Nona down there. Just don't say anything to them, okay? This is... It's just... Hey, like... secret secrets are no fun unless you share with everyone. What is it? Reveal yourselves. We're dating. We're dating. Nona and I, we're gonna date. Ren, dude, what did I just say? What? They asked. Right? You asked? Mazel tov on the happy couple. <laughs> Thank you. No, stop. It's one date at the Revival Theater. We're just going to sit quietly in the dark and watch a documentary on Bosnian genocide. Hmm. Romantic. Aw, how cute. The Riviera is a great movie house. And the ushers can't tell where you're putting your hands if you sit in row G, by the way. Please don't tell him that. Anyways, I know it's stupid to be planning or whatever for this, but I don't know. 
I just feel like maybe it's not that insignificant or whatever. Whatever. Truly the language of love. <laughs> Shut up. You know what I mean. Good. I'm glad. This is... I mean, at the very least, I'll get to hear embarrassing stories, so... I... I want to get this off my chest. Just... Something happened to us tonight, Alex. Something broke. I don't know if it was the ghosts or whatever, but you've been acting like not you. Ren. No, I just, I don't know. Well, I tried. I mean, I don't know what else I could have done, man. This night has been awful nonstop. It was a lot to juggle. I know. I don't, I don't know why I'm even saying this now. I'm sorry. This is stupid, but can we, like, take a picture? Why? I don't know. In case things go bad and... Yeah, let's do it. We're on a beach. Kind of. Let's keep a shred of normal here. All right, let's take it. Alex, get in here. You're not getting... <sighs> All right. Once we're in there, the door won't open again since the system's so convoluted. So, make sure you're ready to finish this before we go inside. We'll be back. Oh, I know. Oof. Okay. I... Uh, all right. I am coming with you, you know. Yeah, yeah. Listen, Alex, I don't want to say anything to Ren or Nona, but the truth of it is I'm not feeling too awesome right now. It's kind of getting worse. Just hang in there, Jonas, okay? I know you feel like a garbage snowman right now, but we're almost done. Hey, what do you call a man who's short of time? Huh? Have you... Mm, no clue. Tim. You call him Tim. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it's not one of my finest. It's kind of spooky, right? The beds? Thinking they would have slept here while the rest of us burned? Yeah, but do you think it would even have worked? Like, if... if Yugoslavia or whoever dropped an A-bomb on their heads, I don't know if this place would have held up. Yeah, maybe not. It's kind of sad to think about. It's... it feels like wrong to see one of these when we're not in a, a time loop, right? <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Wait, it's... Oh, damn, it's another radio wave lock thing. Wait, before... Look, if something happens on the other side of this door, just... Don't be stupid. Cut and run, okay? If I turn into dead weight or start freaking out, just get to the boat. Do whatever you have to. Jonas, we're all getting out of here. I mean, look, we're about to fix this in two minutes. Two minutes! This is microwave popcorn of a problem. I'm not asking, I'm telling. Look, dream a little dream, buddy. It's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna leave you. Now, let's just get this door open, do what we gotta, and get home. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you know what? There's, there's like the tenth time we've heard this song all night. There is something going on with... Like, why would this specific tune be all over yeah, the... Yeah, it, it's probably a trick, Jonas. The ghosts know we're closing in on, on booting them out, and they're throwing up distractions to distract you. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. But, I mean, it's, it's ghosts. And I'm not about to throw away the possibility this is something 
else. I'll be fast, but it's just too strange. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna give you some leeway here because I'd want it with Michael, so take a look. Okay, good, thank you. It's like breaking or something. Can you, can you fix it? It's, it sounds like it's her, like a recording, or it's just, it's my mom. That's her voice in the static. You can hear that, right? I mean, I know you don't know what she sounded like, but you can hear that, the voice, right? Jonas, th this, it, it doesn't feel right. Something's wrong. Wait, wait, wait. Is it possible? Do you, th do you think it's possible? I mean, we've been, like, talking with ghosts the entire night. Do you think it's, like, it could be, right? It's just, w with everything that's happened, she could have come here. I, Jonas, I'm sorry, but I, I really don't think that's her. Like, really her. Well, how would you know? And I mean, you don't know that for sure. I'm not saying I know that for sure, but from the stuff we've seen tonight, it just... This has to be possible, right? God, she's like so close. You can just... Can you just try and tune in the signal? This tape player thing isn't even... I have no clue what's going on, but... It's too you... dangerous, Jonas. I'm sorry, but this could be anything, anyone. Too dangerous? We, I mean, you've been using that radio to do everything all night, like a Swiss army knife, like a spork, and suddenly this is too dangerous? Come on, I'm sorry, but please, can you try and understand what's happening here? Just please help me out. I just can't, just can't really get this to change, or... Uh, Mom, can you... Uh, Are you still here? Why not move on of all of them? Because it's scary, that's why. Have you ever stared into nothing and moved with it and felt a part in it? It's worse than when we were wilting into atoms. Worse than dying the first time. No, uh, of course not, but you have to, no matter how hard it is. No, we don't have to. We don't have to do anything, not anymore. Whatever you think you can do, you can't. We're not going back, we won't. Go back. Child, your turn. Is that you? You've come to close the hole, right? Well, you're gonna find out it's not that simple. 
The horses have already left the barn. Yeah, I've come to close the hole. I've come to... to do what Maggie Adler tried to do 50 years ago, all right? <laughs> okay, well, it didn't work then. Why would it work now? God, you're so spoiled. You don't even know the cost of things. <laughs> Closing the hole with your stupid toy will spare your... your friends from our bloom, sure. But it will seal you up in here with us. You'll die with us again and again. You're just trying to scare me. That isn't... that can't be the only way. One last chance. You don't have to die. You can leave, you know. Through the gate you opened. And we keep... The girl. Clarissa. She'll, She'll be here happier with us. What? No way! I'm not... I'm not just gonna abandon Clarissa. Who do you think I am? Who do... Who do you think we are? Do you think we wanted to be thrown away? Like some faulty appliance? How can I fix it then? Just... Just tell me how to fix it. I'm here. I'm in the... The past, for God's sake. I can't change this somehow? No, you can't change... Before, you can't change anything. We can feel this... Binding. You have maybe just a few moments left. We feel terrible, we do, but... But you have to know why that everyone chose to forget about us. Everyone just... Shuttered us away. They built a monument for you. How could you say that everyone forgot? Oh, the monument, the memorial, the... Hunk of metal. It's a bomb for their injured pride. That they let one of their own fall. It won't hurt. We don't think. The change. <laughs> but we hope the trip was worth it. Seeing the depraved tourist track they built on our carpus. Did you see the gift shop? You can buy a little submarine foot rest if you fancy that sort of thing. This whole little community is for you. They built it up around Fort Milner, and for the soldiers that died, it's all about that. It's not for us. We've twisted our bodies, screeching two inches from your faces for you to, to see us. And you never do. Enjoy the scenery. Gets old after a while, believe us. To the crewman of the USS Canaloa named Henry, I... I'm going out on a limb here, man. I know you're in there. I know you're a person. I know you're all people. Come on, just... Please help me. Help my friends. Stop this. Henry! Was our name ever... Henry? Henry? I... almost remember. You were... were... people once. Don't lose that part of you to be... This. It's... It's... My name. Henry Griffin. It's hard to remember... Certain things. Our faces went a while ago, then our names... Names. Our names. But our anger... Our anger is... We're afraid of all we have left. It's kind of the last stitch. That's not all you have. You know that's not all you have. Scrap it. Keep your nature. We'll keep ours. Maggie had, has, will have this friend and you sort of remind us of her. Strange girl. Odd tempered. Take care. With the time you have left child and take notice of what you choose to Jonas Jonas where where are you okay this is this is going to be fine just work through it Tell Michael to stay with Clarissa. They like each other a lot. But Michael's dead. How could I even... Whoa, wait, what? what's happening? Hello, are you... Look, is someone there? Jonas, if you're still there, this would be a great time to say something. When Jonas gets on your, uh, case about his mom, 
Just do what you feel is best, okay? His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. W what is... H how is this possible? W what's going on? <sighs> well, that could have gone better. <sighs> right. Time loop. Tell Michael he should go to school here. What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here. Oh, hey, I didn't even know you were home. You're always so quiet. It's like living with a little fairy tale mouse. Are you back? Are we back now, or...? Uh, yeah, I'm back. I was only going to be at Terry's house for the game. I've been, like, struggling with the stupid speech, the graduation thing. I don't want it to be just the usual blah blah we've come so far type stuff. It should have, like, a point, right? It should bring you to your feet about something. Uh, sure, yeah. Give it a theme. I'm guessing mom probably told you about my scholarship to state, right? I don't really know how I feel about it. I mean, I feel it's not like it's a bad thing. It's a good thing, obviously. What is it? Don't want to go? Like, are you thinking of another school or? Nah, it'd be that school if it was going to be a school. It's just, you know, it seems like half the teachers are alumni and... Actually, I'm about to be really arrogant and presumptuous and say mean things for no real reason other than I think I know better, so forget it. I've bored you enough. I'm boring Michael me. Say it, come on, you can't take me to the water's edge of an idea here and then not jump in, that's just cruel. No, no, really, I'm talking out of my ass, it's fine. Listen, here's the... <sighs> you can't tell mom or dad, but Clarissa and I are talking about just leaving. Getting an apartment somewhere and... and just doing our own thing, you know? Oh, Michael, seriously? You'd leave me here all alone with these boring, bland people who... who don't come up with stuff like grocery cart chariot race? You came up with that one, so... You're not really losing out. I'd still visit all the time, so, you know. She's been really pushing for it, wanting to look for places, and uh, I'm into the idea. I really am. I just, I wouldn't feel right about it if I didn't have your, like, blessing first. So, can you just wave your hand over my head or something and say I'm alright to do this? I... God, it's hard for me to say since I love you, of course, but you should do it. Totally. Even if it explodes in a nuclear war-style breakup, you'll regret never trying. Thanks. That means a lot. Alex, just get good friends, okay? And when you're with those friends, just say yes to everything. And keep away from boys when you talk to them, it feels like you're performing. But also, stay away from girls who look you in the eye for too long. And match every beer with a water. And take classes outside of school. Michael, what is... what's this for? What, what are you doing? This is just... this is a just-in-case package, okay? Just in case I'm not around. And I love you, and you're amazing, and that's it. So... I love you too. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Hey, she's waking up. Is she alright? Ugh, ouch. Is, um... <clears throat> is everyone doing alright? Still... Um, yourselves? Yeah, I think we're all accounted for, right? Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, my arm fell asleep, Jonas but... carried you here. Yeah, 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 okay. The, the important thing is, whatever you did in the cave, it worked. The tear, the hole, it's fixed. The ghosts are gone. We're going home. Or at least they've... they've stopped trying to eat our souls. Yeah, it's important to note that. That's... I'm... I'm glad. I'm sorry, I'm just... I was back. I fell back a few years during the whole thing, and I just saw Michael again. That's all. So, I'm just a little rattled right now. You saw Mike? What happened? What... what was it like? Well, wait. Yeah, okay. I just talked to him. He, he was there in the... whatever was happening. We talked about his future and what he wanted to do. It was... something. I'm sorry, Alex. Yeah, it's... I'm sure it was rough. No, it was, um, 
It was good to see him. It was good. He looked good. He looked, um, himself. I had my older sister. It was a night where I don't even remember why she was mad at me. Probably something I said to our mom, but I don't know why that who cares night would visit. I wouldn't put much thought into it, Clarissa. Really. Yeah, it doesn't matter now. Maybe it's... I don't know, maybe it's like what matters to us showed up or something. The universe doesn't care about what matters to us. Then it doesn't matter anyway. No, I guess it doesn't. I can't believe everything that happened. I just... I feel like we should tell everyone we know. Like, go on a freaking book tour, but... I think we'd sound nuts, honestly. I, I mean, it's not like... It's not like we have any proof any of this actually happened. Hey, is this your book? Oh man, this is... We're gonna be the best couple ever. Uh, okay, slow down. I lost it on the way. I thought for sure some commuter would have just tossed it overboard Hey, or... that reminds me. What were we... We were talking about something stupid right before Alex woke up. Prom? Uh, uh, prom. 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 I am definitely skipping this one. I'm deferring the crown to that wheelchair girl. Are you going, Alex? Are we supposed to still spike the punch or just bring in flasks? Uh, I guess. I mean, if I find a date, you know. I'm not gonna go stag. I have my dignity. Ben Owens will ask you. Or rather, he's going to ask you unless I physically prevent him. Eh, you can do better. Come on, come with me and Nona. We'll go dress shopping. It'll be fun. It'll be like a movie montage, except none of us are prostitutes and there's no rich guy. Uh, sounds great. Yeah, I mean, I guess I should spiffy up once in my life. All right, just don't say phrases like that while we're out and we'll be solid. All right, you know what? It's picture time. Oh my god, come on. Nona. <sighs> yeah, I guess we should. Tonight's been, um, noteworthy. Noteworthy. That is a way to say it. Yeah, I'd probably say it another way. Let's, um, let's actually move outside so we can get the light. Sure. Ren, what is that book, anyway? I don't know. I can hardly make heads or tails out of what the hell he's talking about half the time. Here's good for the... yeah, just here. Like, look. I'll just pick a random-ass page. Come on, two seconds. I'm not pushing the clicker into your... <laughs> yeah, we're not taking... like, this, here. When I was younger, I could remember anything, whether it happened or not. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Okay, everyone. Wait, what? Cheese! Before we'd left, I told my mom I was spending the night at a friend's house. And when I got back, I didn't see any reason to change that story. And you know what? I still don't. The island did one good thing, forcing Ren and Nona together. Which is nice, because they're still together, actually, though they go to different schools now. Trying out the long distance thing, I guess. Clarissa left to study English literature. She was thinking of dropping out, but is keeping at it for now. We talk sometimes. Rarely, but sometimes. I hear she's scared of the ocean now. And she got a dog, too, if you care. Jonas was the first to introduce me as his sister. You know, without the step part in front of it. And it was weird at first, but it's the truth. He's my brother. He goes to school in town, and we see each other a lot. It's funny. What happened on the island used to pop into my head every single day. And then every other day. And then a week went by, and I realized... I hadn't thought about it at all. I guess that's... I don't know. It's good, I think. But anyways, I, um... Well... If it matters. I'm... Taking some time off. Just to... I don't know. Readjust my priorities. Figure out what I want to do. But anyways... What time is it? <gasps> yeah, sorry, I gotta run or I'll miss the ferry. Ren's dragging me out to Edwards Island for that yearly beach party thing. And I have to pick up what's-his-name Jonas, too. Ugh, I hope he's not weird or mean or something. 
Whatever, I'm sure it'll be fun. It's something to do, right?